there, McCormie users. My name is Beth, and in this video, I'm very excited to introduce McCormie's new enhanced security model. As of build 76, McCormie has introduced a new approval workflow process, fully integrated with the existing Microsoft Dynamics GP security model. By allowing administrators to manage multi-level approval thresholds with standard application security tasks and roles. Don't worry, the familiar options of McCorma security by user ID and checkbook ID will still exist under the label legacy. However, the new task-based model improves upon the best features of McCorma legacy security and offers more flexibility than ever before. Task-based security functions on the premise of authorization or approvals. Users must first be assigned security roles and task IDs that are then applied to thresholds. For your convenience, McCorma has created optional roles and task IDs that can be used for this purpose. Let me explain. Authorization allows any user designated with the role of McCorma Batch Authorizer to authorize payments at the batch level. Alternatively, secure approval workflow can be configured, allowing approvers to OK individual transactions at assigned threshold levels, or ranges, as determined by the company administrator. These threshold ranges are tied to task IDs and default signatures and can be grouped together and saved as a threshold ID. Threshold IDs must then be applied to individual checkbooks in order for McCorma security to take effect. It is possible to create a basic security threshold ID and apply to all checkbooks at the default level. Let's take a look at how this works in action. As you can see, administrators have the option to choose the new task-based model per company. For our first example, I'd like to demonstrate what it looks like to configure a company using authorization only. I will select one authorizer, it's possible to have two, along with the corresponding authorizer task ID. Debbie has been assigned to the role of McCorma Batch Authorizer for Complete Solutions in the Purchasing Module. As explained earlier, this means that she will have the authority to authorize at the batch level. For those familiar with McCorma's legacy security, this is similar to turning off secure approval workflow. AP Clerk Ken has built his weekly batches and now he must request authorization. Debbie will receive an email letting her know that she has batches to review and authorize. And once logged into GP, she can do so from the McCorma Payment Batch Status List. Once Debbie has authorized the batches, Ken can then proceed to print and process the payments. Our second example will show a secure approval workflow configuration. The company administrator will instead designate several users as approvers, covering a range of payment thresholds. Complete Solutions is still configured for task-based security, but no authorizers have been assigned. Users Ken, Karen, and Debbie have approval capabilities at differing threshold levels. For example, one of Ken's assigned roles is Level 1 Approver, which means that by default, he is assigned McCorma Approver Task Level 1. Within the Threshold Maintenance window, the administrator determines that Ken can approve transaction amounts up to $1,000. By selecting the appropriate dollar range, the Level 1 Task ID associated with Ken's security role, and Ken's signature file. Threshold assignments will be applied for Karen and Debbie in the same way, so that this particular threshold ID labeled Example will consist of three threshold ranges tied to three different users' task IDs and signature files. As batches are built and approvals are requested by AP clerks, Ken, Karen, and Debbie will receive notifications that they have transactions to approve within their respective assigned threshold ranges. Logging in as Ken, I will go to the McCorma Transaction Approval window where I'm able to see all transactions, approvable transactions, and my specific transactions. Ken only has the ability to approve transactions from zero to $1,000. 
Karen and Debbie will accomplish the same tasks for their respective threshold levels. Payment batches can then continue to be processed by the appropriate person using standard GP and McCorma procedures. These are only two examples of how you might choose to configure a secure workflow process using McCormick's task-based security model. The new model provides a variety of possible configurations that can be tailored to your company's needs. Please stay tuned to McCormick's videos page for more resources on the task-based security model, including an in-depth look at the many setup options available to you. As always, please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions you may have. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.